Let us look at the ancient Egyptian massive granite obelisk, left protruding from the Aswan Quarry for 10,000 years. The marks seen on this massive unfinished granite obelisk, as well as those seen throughout the hillside terrain of the Aswan Quarry, are not actually scoop marks. That is, the ancient Egyptians were not softening the bedrock and scooping it out. Additionally, those marks in the bedrock were definitely not made from bashing granite with handheld diorite pounders, as each mark is as much as 50 inches wide and some 6 to 8 inches deep. Instead, the ancient Egyptians clearly were softening the bedrock or making it brittle and grinding it down. Clearly, something abrasive or something spinning made those marks. In other words, they were easily carving massive three-dimensional objects or shapes into the bedrock before removing them from the slots they were in. Their techniques for working stone would be more familiar to us when it comes to techniques for working wood. Thus, they were carving the desired shape all in one piece while it was in the ground. Granite is so difficult to 